Hello my friends and welcome back to Cat on a Sofa and today I'm going to do a video I've been wanting to do for quite a while. Um, I want to show you all of my steelbooks. Well, not entirely. Uh, I have far too many steelbooks to do all of them in one video. Uh, it, it would take ages to record and it would take ages to edit all into one video. And I don't really want to um, do it all in one part. But I'm going to do this in several parts. I think I'll do one today, one tomorrow, and uh, I'll see how many is left after that. Um, I might be able to get it done in two parts, but what I've essentially done, I've taken one section of shelf and part of another one. These are, pr these are except for the Arnie ones, these will be all of my non-4K steelbooks. Um, no special editions, no collector's editions, I think. So this is just my normal, regular, non 4k steelbooks um well most of them uh there's a few that are like um atomic blondies are uh, mixed in with my john wick films so anyway i won't be taking them um out of slips because it will take forever uh yeah that's that's pretty much it guys so uh this is going to be potentially a long one so i'm just going to crack on uh so am i gonna I don't know if I'll do stories, um, we'll see. So, Lost in Translation, uh, probably the highlight of my collection at this point. It's still by far and away my most expensive uh, steelbook. Um, and it's just a regular steelbook too, wow. So yeah, Lost in Translation, brilliant movie, love the steelbook. Moving along to Zodiac, this one, um, not widely loved on the um, in the steelbook community, but um, you know what, it's actually got some spot gloss on it, it's kind of nice. and. Um, yeah, really, really good Fincher movie. Moving along, we have the 88 Films edition of The One with one of the worst slipcovers I have. Um, but the steelbook is fine, even though it's matte. And still one of my favourite Jason Statham Jet Li multiverse movies. The World's End. Um, is this my... This might be my favourite of the Cornetto trilogy. Um, and yeah, this is a really nice Everything Blue steelbook. Um... Cough, cough, Rambo, uh, which I've um, I've actually ordered. Yeah, this has some really nice glossing, uh, embossing, and debossing on it, and it is very, very good. Um, yeah. Next, my one and only Metal Pack American Pie. It was um, I was in CX. It was a pound. I wanted American Pie on Blu-ray, and yeah, um, not a big fan of Metal Packs. So I don't like the hinges, but um, it, it's it's nice for what it is. And like I said, it was a pound. <laughs> Moving along, I don't know where the um, the J card is for this, but that's okay. Very Bueller's Day Off, uh, one of my absolute favourite um, comedy movies. Um, only, I haven't seen nearly enough John Hughes movies. In fact, I think I've only seen um, that he's directed. I think this and um, the Breakfast Club, and the Breakfast Club is a very recent watch for me. Uh, and I actually think I prefer the Breakfast Club to Ferris Bueller, although it would be very, very close. But I bloody love this film. Um, moving along, we have. I need to stop saying moving along, don't I? In my, in my How to Train Your Dragon slip box because I can't fit the How to Train Your Dragon ones in there in, in their um, protectors, and I didn't want to throw it away. Anyway. Sherlock Holmes, this was just um, dirt cheap from a charity shop that my wife messaged me saying, hey, do you want me to pick this up for you? And I was like, sure. <laughs> you know, it's actually quite nice. Um, Gravity, this was um, this was just a CX pickup. I was in there and they had a few few going cheap and um, it, it's a little bit um, dinged up in a few places, but it's actually in pretty good condition for a second hand. Not a big fan of um, 3D like saying it's 3D on the steelbook, you know, I, I think it kind of cheapens the steelbook, but it's got some nice spot glossing actually, and um, very, very good movie. And Monty Python and the Holy Grail, quite possibly one of the best comedy movies ever, 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 ever made. And um, yeah, uh, what more can you say? Monty Python and the Holy Grail, it is hilarious. Um, was browsing the CX website back when I lived um, in a different place but um, so I was looking at my local shop um, steelbooks and I was like holy shit they've got a Monty Python steelbook and um, immediately set off to buy it. Wayne's World! Next up we have Wayne's World. Um, 
isn't this getting a 4K? I feel kind of ripped off that they dropped this steelbook uh, and and then now we're getting a 4K of it. And um, where the hell is Wayne's World 2? I want a Wayne's World 2 steelbook too. Also, Wayne's World steelbook also. Yes. Moving along. Um, Blade of the Immortal. Still haven't watched this. Picked it up because it was £4. Looked interesting. Sounds interesting. And it's actually quite a cool steelbook. Next. Vanishing Point. Uh, still only have ever watched this once. Death Proof and Tarantino um, made me really, really want to watch it. It's a pretty good car chase film. Um, Star Force Soldier, just known as Soldier in the UK. And uh, I have pretty fond memories of watching this as a child. And I could uh, remember bits of it. And um, yeah, I, um, there's a, a German really steelbook of it. And I was like, oh, that looks pretty cool. So I got it. And if you enjoy like very uncomplicated... Exiled soldier learns the power of friendship and love in um in a strange place and then has to defend them. Uh, you'd probably like this film if you haven't already seen it, so check that one out. Next up, we have Soylent Green. I've covered this one on my channel already. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised by this. I mean, like I said, I already knew the ending but uh it didn't really it didn't ruin it for me even though you know it's coming and the film is actually quite good i'm not usually a big fan of um early 70s movies but uh it's not half bad at all moving along scott pilgrim one of i think three scott pilgrim steelbooks i have and um yeah it, it's not great i picked it up because it was um i, I was checking out at CEX and um, it was cheap I mean it was like four pound and I just grabbed it because because I was there but um not a big fan of printed age logos on the steelbook and I'm not a big fan of barcodes and all this crap this this should be on a J card uh, it, it's not good I think it's um an artifact of steelbooks gone but whatever Silver Linings Playbook, very, very good um, romantic comedy with um, Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Lawrence. It even says it right there. I don't know why I'm struggling. Um, yeah, this was another one. I think I went in there to try to get... Uh, was I after? I, I know what I was after. I went in there to get the Whiplash 4K Steelbook, um, and it was dented to crap. Um, and I had, like, a few alternates. But these were really cheap. Uh, it was this and... I think Lucy, actually. I just grabbed them because they were cheap and, you know, I do like the film. And next up, funnily enough, Lucy. Um, again, got this with Silver Linings from CX. I get a lot of things from CX. It's always good to um, to bargain hunt, you know. Second hand can be a bit of a, a mixed bag, but sometimes you can find some really good deals. And this isn't, you know, it, it doesn't really have any damage. And I was really surprised. It has some really nice spot glossing on it. And, um... I still need the 4K of this, but Lucy, severely underrated film. I know the whole using 10% of your brain thing is a bit of um, um, a dead trope, but it, a, a, as a plot device, it works. And we have Ted. Um, went out to get this because it was like £2 uh, in CX. Again, a lot of my non-4K steelbooks are from CX, actually, because I just I just pick them up if, they're, if they happen to be there and they're cheap and in good condition. Um, and yeah, I, I actually, I just wandered in there to get it, and, and I was pleasantly surprised by the steelbook. It even has some nice debossing, and um, yeah, it's all matte, but you know, it, it's actually quite good. I need to get the second one. Uh, the Fifth Element. This was actually uh, an American import for me. I do like Project Pop Art steelbooks, and um, yeah, this one's really nice. Um, just flat matte, but... Um, and it did come with like some slight damage, but you know, Amazon America to UK kind of uh, expected that. But yeah, Project Pop Art. I think this might be my only Project Pop Art actually. But um, yeah, se seriously good Luke Besson movie Jumanji. I wanted this one for a long, 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 long time. And um, yeah, they they had the 4K one on Amazon on sale once, and I I don't know why I didn't get it. Uh, and it's really cool. It it, it looks like um, a wood effect. It's not like wood in any way, but uh, it it really is quite cool. It's got some gorgeous debossing and embossing. Um, I'm not sure if I can tell the difference between the two on this one. It's <laughs> like it it could really be either one. But um, yeah, great, great, great steelbook and film. 
Next up, we have my I Am Legend. This is the non 4K one. Another one that I picked up from CX because it was dirt cheap and it's really, really nice, actually. In fact, the artwork on this one might be better than the 4K one. <sighs> Moving along. Groundhog Day. Uh, another CX pickup. This one's got some nice um, spot glossing, actually. Um, it has an unfortunate dent there. I don't know why. Why can't people just look after their steelbooks and CX? I think I've actually started to keep them in protectors now, or at least some of the more expensive ones in my specific local one. I don't think they all do it, and they definitely should. But Groundhog Day, yes, one of Bill Murray's best, in my opinion. Oh, real steel. This is, um, if you've ever seen the movie Over the Top, this is Over the Top. Um, with robots and Hugh Jackman and, um, yeah, it's really, really good. Moving along, World War ZZ, ZZZ. Um, rewatched this the other day, actually. Uh, the extended cut really is very good. I know that this film isn't widely loved, but as far as zombie movies go, I really, really like this. Next, we have Kong's Call Island in 3D. I've said before, I'm not a fan of the 3D logo another cx pickup for me i need to get the box set of these in 4k although i do have um kong vs godzilla 4k pre-ordered in time another example of not a great steelbook i just wanted the movie on blu-ray and um this just happened to be dirt cheap in cex men in black trilogy very very basic design on this one it's actually not too bad it's even got some like nice um, debossing and embossing. I, I, quite honestly, when there is so much of it, I I can't tell whether or not it's embossed or debossed. Um, like it really just could be either or both. But yeah, Men in Black Trilogy. You know, I've still only seen the third film once. I need to um, rewatch that. I think. Um, okay, next up, guys, we have Southport and. Uh, I thought, if you look here, I actually thought this was um, Scratch, but I've seen it on somebody else's photo on Instagram, and I think it's just part of the design. But it really does look like someone's just scraped the crap out of it, but uh, as far as I know, it hasn't. Whew. Next up, Independence Day. I got this one in the vague hope that it would be the extended cut, and it wasn't, but I ended up with a steelbook. Anyway, <sighs> and yeah. Sorry guys, you know I've still got a bloody chest infection. It's been um, it's been like a month, and I cannot seem to shift my chest infection. Braveheart, need to get my um, need to get myself a 4K of this, but I really like this steelbook. It is very very striking. Some nice debossing on the um, emblem there. So yeah. <clears throat> okay, next up we have the Neil Blomkamp um, kind of trilogy thing. District 9, Elysium, and Chappie. I didn't actually get all these at the same time. But um, th this one, actually, I think I got this one online from CEX for £4. It didn't even have a photo of um, of the steelbook, but it was cheap, and I, I was buying things, and um, I was incredibly pleasantly surprised. Elysium and Chappie, I know they don't get um, all that much love. I really like them as far as films go. They're, they're really entertaining, and I think Chappie might be my favourite of the three, to be honest. Rise of the Foot Soldier, guys. Um, very, very dented. It was really cheap. I think this might have been a pound from a charity shop. And uh, I just wanted the film on, on Blu-ray. And, uh, you know, eh, not a fan of the dents, but what can you do? Ready Player One. I hadn't seen, um, hadn't read the book when, um, when I went to, no, I saw the trailer and then got really interested in the book, and I read the book, and I absolutely loved it. And uh, so, yeah, and I, the film changes a lot um, from the book, but I think both of them do work in their own right. And I really, really do like this film. And uh, this was the steelbook I got, and now I have the Titans of Court one. Also, they will be in another video. Um, do all these ones together, because um, there is a little bit of a story on this one too. So yeah, um, we have the Star Trek um, movies, and um, yeah, right. Um, yeah, I I wandered into CX one day as I frequently did do, um, like way before COVID, 
and um i mean i know i know you still can go now but like you know i i used to go like i, I used to get a lot of my collection from there and now i buy most of it um through pre-orders but um anyway so it was actually it was three of the next generation movies that i found there um and they were like really cheap like three four pound each uh and I posted them on Reddit, I think, and someone messaged me and told me that a site that I can no longer remember the name of had them on sale. And the sale was ridiculous. It was three for £10. And honestly, I thought it was a scam. I mean, I really did think it was far, far too cheap for it to be a legit site. But um, I ordered them for £20 and they came. And at that point, I had everything other than Wrath of Khan. Um, let's start going through these. Yeah, I had everything other than Wrath of Khan. Um, and I couldn't get hold of this one anyway, it's like, it's so bloody rare, um, I mean, I don't know if it's rare, but it is the, the, um, most loved, highest rated one, I guess, and, um, yeah, I couldn't find it, and then my local CEX had one in stock, uh, and then had it in for a couple of weeks, actually, and I had two copies of The Running Man, um, for reasons, uh, so I took one in to sell it, and I just grabbed this one, and all in all, I think I ended up paying about £19 for it, which was pretty decent. Um, yeah, they all have um, nice debossing on the title, and you know what the funniest thing is? Other than when I was a child, I haven't actually seen any of the original series Star Trek movies. Uh, I know I have seen some of them as a child, but I haven't watched them since I bought them, not a single one. I have watched the Next Generation ones. I, I'm, a, I'm a big Trekkie, but I've never been a big fan of um, the original series. And me and my wife, who wasn't a Trekkie before that, um, I could finally managed to convince her to watch Star Trek. So we started with Next Generation. We watched all of that. Then we watched the Next Generation movies, and then we decided to try to watch the original series. And in Futurama, they make a joke uh, that there's like 69 episodes and 30 good ones. And uh, I, I never really realised it before. Um, and, and I found that I was having to make far too many excuses to convince myself to watch it. I, I'd always said, like, hey, let's just watch a film instead tonight. And um, I, I really just couldn't get into it. Uh, and I found myself just not wanting to watch them. I, I was not looking forward to it like I did with Next Generation. And so um, I looked up... Um, you know, a list of good episodes, uh, and it actually does list 30 good episodes, and, and quite honestly, I still found them to be really, really tedious. So we just skipped to Deep Space Nine. Uh, but yeah, uh, maybe I'll, I, I want to go back and watch the films, because they, they may be, maybe, you know, they're at the end of the um, the series' run, obviously, and um, they, they might be a little bit more watchable, but um, yeah... Anyway, so moving along, this is my box set for the Hunger Games 4K Steelbox, um, which, Christ, the story behind this one is so bad as well, uh, because it came out for a, as a Best Buy exclusive, and I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and 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 nothing, and, the, and then finally um, Amazon Italy got hold of them, which is where I got this, and it actually did arrive on Damaged, although I did... Um, ask for it to be gift wrapped in the hopes that it would come in a box and all it was was a, a gift wrap bag in the same envelope it would have been and I'm shocked it came undamaged um, but yeah it still had some Italian markings and I, I and, and it finally did get uh, released in the UK although it, it, it's been announced in the UK and I've got it ordered and I don't know where to get it or not uh, it seems kind of superfluous but um, if I can buy it and then sell this this one maybe because um, this one did come with a few um, printing defects as well, if it was just um, a case of, you know, Italian discs and shit, I, I might have just not cared. But yeah, the printing imperfections kind of annoy me, so I'm hoping that mine, if I do get one, comes better. But anyway, uh, these are the original ones that do need a good clean, actually. I got these ones from CX, as usual, and they were really cheap, and they still are really, really cheap. And um, yeah, they're they're a bit tatty, but they're not overly damaged. Uh, they just had stickers and stuff on them, and I've just never got around to cleaning it off. But yeah, I'm a big Hunger Games fan. Um, read the books after the um, the trailer, and I do really enjoy both the movies and the books. We have some Arnie Steel books. I don't know if I've been over quite all of these on my channel, so let's. Um, there we go. These are all my Arnie Steel books. 
and let's go through them in order. I don't remember where, I mean, I remember where it's from, I know it was from CX, but I don't remember what steelbook this is, I don't know um, who made it, um, but it is really, really nice. Um, it has some really gorgeous embossing on the title and it's pretty cool and for the longest time it was actually my most expensive steelbook at something like 42 pound anyway so then we have terminator 2 another cx pickup um as there are many in this stack because they are just from where they came from and this one's okay it's a bit tatty it was dirt cheap and um I'm, I, I was going for like a full Arnie uh, steelbook set. I don't have them all yet, still. I know there, um, there's a really nice Maggie one that I need. But um, I, might, I might go back through these and try to pick up some better ones because this one's a bit e. Eh. I know that the, uh, the 4K is not well loved either, which is why I haven't got it. But um, we'll see. Uh, Conan, this one, CX pickup online. They had one in stock in the entire country, and I ordered it, and um, and then like two days later it got cancelled. And then another one miraculously appeared online in a different store, uh, and I ordered that one immediately. Uh, it had a tiny, tiny dent here, and um, it, it's, it's because it's like on this um, embossed border, and I tried to fix it, and, I, and I've actually made it worse. And... Um, I might pick this one up again at some point because this is a really nice still book and it's a shame that it's damaged and it does irk me slightly so yeah anyway moving along one more time not one more time many more times um red sonia man i i watched this um for the first time on 4k and the first time in a long time of the day and um it is horrendously cheesy terribly acted um terrible special effects um, it's still quite entertaining. Bridget Nielsen is just awful. <laughs> she really is. But, um, you know, the steelbook was like £25 um, or something like that. And um, it was an Arnie steelbook I needed. Couldn't turn it up. And so I had to get that. Total Recall 4K. Um, gorgeous glossy steelbook. D-Boss title. And, um, yeah, um, other than a few really weird like low um low bitrate moments in the um in the film it's really really good 4k in fact outstanding uh the last stand one of um was this post governor i i think it was i i don't i can't remember anymore all all, all time has just become modeled together but i do re I think it was. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, really, really good cop um, movie. Uh, like a Terran Siege kind of thing. And yeah, it's really, really good. Nice steelbook. Um, was birthday present, I believe. Another CEX pickup for me. Commando, the director's cut. I couldn't tell you. Um, no, actually, I can tell you. I know there's like a couple of um, lines. I um the, the daughter says about kicking his ass or busting his face in i forget which one's the um director's cut though but i honestly i i, um, I don't think it deserves to be a director's cut uh it's like it's almost as bad as the uh expendables director's cut which literally has like a half second um of jason statham stabbing someone and in the director's cut or extended cut that brings the rating from like a 15 to an 18 and um he in in the um unrated one he twists the knife and that that like that's the entire extended version but yeah commando is just one of my absolute favorite no nonsense man man one man army kind of films you know predator do i need to say anything about predator I hate the 3d logo but it is a very nice steelbook and quite possibly one of the best action movies of all time terminator genesis Oh, this film is really, really underrated, man. And um, Sarah Clark, no, not Sarah Clark. I've forgotten her bloody name. I always forget her name. I, I'm, I'm not even going to try and think of it. I'll, I'm just going to add it in in post. Um, no, it's gone. Um, yeah, really, really like this film. Um, yeah, I feel like they could have played with the um, the finish on this one. High gloss steelbook, and yeah, it's got some um, nice horizontal micro scratches. 
The Running Man, I've already done a video on this one. This is a beautiful steelbook with some nice art cards. One of Arnie's best. Not a fan of the new steelbook. Doesn't matter. Not going to go through this entire thing, guys. Uh, this is quite a nice set, though. Um, sadly, it came with a matte finish steelbook. But I'm not complaining about that anymore because I was just going to drive myself crazy. They really need to fix slips so they don't scratch steelbook. Mm, eep. Did I just damage that? I might have just damaged that. Um... Yeah, Last Action Hero. Uh, kind of before it's time, you know. Doing meta before, everyone was doing meta. And um, it, it, it really is a shame, because it's such a good film. Should have done better than it did. Predestination. Uh, yeah, this is a really good film. I, I've only seen it once. I do remember enjoying it. I only picked it up because it was cheap. And um, yeah, good time travel, mystery, thrillery thing. Planet of the, sorry, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, um, the second one in the new trilogy, really, really nice still, but with some beautiful um, spot glossing and debossing on the title, and this might be my, no, I I don't know, I think I would say that the first one is my favourite of the trilogy, but I do need to watch them again. Uh, the Expendables, and... I've got, I'll show that one at the same time. Need to get the third one to complete the set. I'd say the third one is definitely the weakest of the trilogy. Um, the first one, probably the best, in my opinion. And, um, yeah, if you're into very no-nonsense, ultra-macho, manly action films, this one basically has the entire thing and the kitchen sink, too. Uh, Resident Evil, I love these films. They, um, they don't get enough love. And I've said it before, and I'm, I think I'm going to make a video about this, but some people watch movies wrong, and these are films that people definitely watch wrong. Uh, they don't have to be super complicated, they don't have to be high art, they just have to be entertaining. And the Resident Evil films are entertaining, and um, I'm a big Mila Jovovich fan. Ever since Fifth Element, so yeah, those are those. My one and only Fast and the Furious one, it was like a dirt cheap pickup, and... Um, Never want to turn up a bargain, you know, I grabbed it. I'm running out of space here. This is my least favourite steelbook. I love the film and I needed it on Blu-ray and I bought it online from again CEX and it was really, really cheap. But my god is this a bad steelbook. Not only it only has everything, it has age ratings, blue bar on it, and everything printed on the back, and it's absolutely awful. Ugh, bad, 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 bad. And we are at the end of the first video here, guys. So we have Hellboy with a nice scratch on it, but it was cheap. Um, and I don't, I don't like damaged steel box, but at the same time, I don't mind if, 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 if I'm gonna sneeze. I don't mind them being slightly damaged. As long as I know about it beforehand and I choose to buy it in the condition it is in. If I'm buying a brand new steelbook, I don't like damage. I, I'm not spending 30, you know, 20, 30, 40, 60 pound on the steelbook for it to just arrive damaged. I, I won't do that. But if I'm in, in a shop and I'm buying one second hand, and you know, it, if I'm aware of it and I make the decision to weigh it damaged, that's different, isn't it? But yeah, Hellboy, awesome film. Um, I actually had to Google uh, this steelbook and check it because it looks like it's really, really damaged, but uh, it's just intentionally weathered. And um, yeah, I only paid something like a tenner for it and I didn't have any of the Die Hard films on Blu-ray and um, no, I have five of them on Blu-ray. Um, the less said about the fifth one, the better. I really like the fourth one actually, although... There is a director's cut of it, which I don't think we can get in the UK on Blu-ray, which is really annoying. But um, the first three are obviously absolute classics. And um, yeah, what a nice little set to have. And finally, we have the lesser of my Pacific Rim steelbooks. And it's okay. Um, I even already had the movie on Blu-ray, but you know, never pass up a steelbook chance when it's cheap. And... Um, yeah, it's pretty good. So that's a good chunk of steelbook, guys. I, I didn't count them exactly. I suspect it's somewhere in the region of 80 to 90, because uh, I think my shelf sections hold about 70. Um, 
I'd have to count, but it doesn't matter. So um, I am going to do the rest of my steelbooks in other videos. I might do my Titans of Court one next. I also have all my Marvel and DC ones. And I have a, a big like section of um, 4K steelbooks. Then I have all of my um, box sets and arrows, which aren't all steelbooks, but I think I might throw those in too. And then I have like um, a couple of other bigger sets, which I will also do. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. This is absolutely a part one, if you hadn't already figured that out. So I will be doing part two soon. Probably maybe tomorrow, if I can be bothered, because uh, it's probably going to be um, a bit of an edit here, but it's fine. And um, yeah, guys, thank you for tuning in and I shall see you next time.